We are one adventure at a time. Dave, Carrie, and Rudolph. We are excited to start our third year of full-time living and traveling in our tiny home on wheels. Join us as we travel North America, exploring and sharing the beauty around us. If you like off the beaten path destinations, you gotta check out Valley of the Gods, a miniature monument valley. Valley of the Gods is located on approximately 152 square miles of BLM land and is open for hiking, backpacking, and camping. But it's most commonly known for the 17 mile dirt and gravel road with spectacular scenery. Highway 163 and then took the turn off for the Valley of the Gods Road and this is a 17 mile loop that's BLM and has all kinds of dispersed camping on it. The views are just awesome. Now we didn't get to take the whole 17 mile loop as we do have to be in Reno, Nevada around the 1st of December. Otherwise we would have explored more but this is just amazing. I've already taken a little walk around and I can't find any trash. And we know that there has been quite a few boondockers in this area because it's got really high reviews and people are just keeping it up and taking care of it. And the scenery is just amazing. Everywhere you look, there's something really cool going on. The camping areas are spaced out so you can be as close or as far away from people as you want. And look at the sky. It's beautiful here. The views are incredible. Aren't they? almost 360 degrees everywhere you look there's something to see i'm pretty sure that we can see monument valley from here i thought so too and i'm really excited because that's been on my list and it's taken us this long to get there and i think they are open this year they were not open last year so i think we're going to hit up monument valley i can't wait so that'll, that's exciting so we might not get to stay here as long as we want but i'm definitely marking this for an area that we want to come back to and spend more time at I mean, just look at the views. And it's so quiet. It's super quiet. It's definitely off the beaten path.
you're having a dilemma because we have a time crunch so we can't spend a lot of time. So this is an epic spot to catch a sunset and it would be perfect. But then again, if we spend the whole day here, that means that we're gonna have to rush out of this area and yeah. not explore the 17 mile loop. That looks incredible. And the 17 mile loop is really what's calling us. Yeah, we just gotta explore. We gotta see what's down the road. And <laughs> because I don't know when the next time we'll get a chance to do this. All right, so. We're going on the loop then? We're going on it. We'll have to see if we can catch a sunset wherever we end up. Okay, let's go see if we can do the loop. That's it. I don't even know if we can. Okay, let's go try it out. <laughs> we just broke camp. As you can see, Carrie's driving. And the one spot that we picked out to stay the night here is a little bit on the rough side. So you don't have to stay at this exact location. Um, you can take a much easier place if you have lower clearance. But she's gonna be driving because I wanna fly the drone as much as possible to show this off. Not bad. Carrie made that look easy. You can see how much the van's rocking and rolling though. This is one of many camp spots where you can stay with just amazing views. It just doesn't seem real. And it's free camping right at the base of these large rocks and, and buttes. It's just incredible. And this one's even off the road a little bit to where it's super remote. And it's going to be super quiet. Nobody bothering you. Just a place to relax. This is definitely a spot we would choose. It is, I'm glad we went for it. Okay, hang on, I'm getting a run at it. Just rough enough to have fun without worrying about doing any kind of damage to the vehicle.
My favorite thing about this camp area are the views, the bluffs, and the rocks. And then the drive itself was just yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's definitely a beautiful area. I'm so glad we stopped and decided to do the drive. Yeah. And I think I'm really disappointed that we weren't here in the lunar eclipse. Maybe we could have seen it. Oh yeah, The this... stargazing is amazing here. Yeah, this would have been the spot <laughs> of many spots. Yes. All right, what you need to know if you come here, first of all, rig size. We did not see any class A's or super long wheelbase rigs. And I think that's because of all the different washes along the ways. They're super dippy and I think there'd be a clearance issue and you may hit bottom. Yeah, there are some hairpin turns and um, I don't think you make it around this. Yeah, <laughs> so if you do have a pull trailer, I might advise that you pull it in on the eastern entrance and stay within the first three miles. Yeah. Because after that, I think you're gonna have problems. Yeah, and any car, I can make this drive as long as the weather's good and the road is dry. If, the, if it's been raining and the road's wet, don't even try it. Absolutely. Keep an eye on the forecast <laughs> because once you get out here, you're not gonna have hardly any cell reception. We didn't have any. Yeah, so that brings us to amenities. There are none. Yeah. So there's no toilets, there's no water. There's campfire rings, but you're not allowed to have campfires in this area. So please follow those rules. And there is no cell coverage. I tried everything I could to get uh, one bar and I could not do that, so. Yeah. So this is BLM land. There is a 14 day stay limit. So that's pretty sweet. Yeah. The nearest town I think is Bluff, Utah. Bluff, Utah, or maybe uh, Mexican Hat. Yes, which are very small towns. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so I think this is a dog friendly area because we didn't have any problems at all. Nope. I can't think of really any hazards for pets. No. Um, there is a, this is the awesome spot for bicyclists. As you can see, there's some off-roaders going by us. It's a great area. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so the only hazards are probably the road itself. And if you come in while it's raining or or bad weather, snow, whatever yeah. you have it. So we are at about 5,000 feet. So that means we could get snow. Uh, currently this is November and it's dry right now yeah. and perfect. Yeah, it's 60 degrees. It does get cold here at nights in the winter. Um, and it does get hot here in the summers. So one hazard is, is this is a very remote area. So you can do this 17 mile loop and not see anybody. Yeah. So you need to come self prepared to be able to change a tire, um, take care of yourself, bring plenty of water, bring extra food. And please, please, please don't do this road if it's wet. Absolutely. And come with the weather forecast checked ahead of time. Yep which we failed to do this time. And we always tell you that, check the weather forecast. It turned out nice, so no worries here. <laughs> we hope you enjoy this video. We've sure enjoyed this area. If you're coming through, make sure you grab your camera, uh, bring supplies so you can stay a few days and enjoy. Yeah, you won't be sorry. It's a beautiful area. Join us next week as we drive the Moki Dugway, a dirt road carved from the face of a cliff and we find our most spectacular boondocking site ever. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron or check out our new merchandise at oneadvancereatatime.com. We also have stickers available in our website store. Thank you for watching.